Commercial aviation is poised to undergo radical transformations that go beyond anything we've witnessed before. Bombardier recently unveiled its most ambitious project for the executive aviation segment. Focusing on a substantial increase in operational efficiency, this new aircraft called the Ecojet aims to achieve a 50% reduction in fuel consumption through a revolutionary aerodynamic configuration that is surprising the entire aviation industry. Energy efficiency isn't the only innovation proposed. The project also anticipates a substantial reduction in the aircraft's total weight. However, the innovations don't stop there. The Canadian manufacturer is also investigating the possibility of incorporating innovative propulsion systems into its future releases. What impresses us most is the growing frequency with which innovative prototypes appear in tests around the globe, involving both industry giants and emerging startups, all working on developing disruptive aerodynamic solutions. And if you're passionate about the aviation world, then consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell to receive new videos every week. In 2021, Airbus, recognized worldwide as one of the leading aeronautical manufacturers, presented an innovative aircraft concept with integrated structure known as blended wing body. This model represents a completely different approach that during evaluations demonstrated significant superiority in terms of aerodynamic performance compared to any aircraft currently in operation. With notable progress in increasingly lighter, more flexible, and durable materials, the European company has advanced with its initiative called Zero E. In collaboration with other corporations and startups leading studies in hybrid and electric propulsion, we observe unprecedented developments in these concepts. The aeronautical sector has shown remarkable growth since the first flying machines, but aerodynamic development and characteristics of commercial aircraft progressed relatively gradually throughout the 20th century. The first aircraft, including the Wright Flyer of 1903, consisted of basic wooden and fabric structures developed for fundamental flight control. The arrival of piston engines enabled gradual increases in range and speed, but aerodynamic advances were constrained by the technologies then available. The 1950s represented a revolutionary milestone with the arrival of jet engines, symbolized by the Boeing 707. Commercial jet aircraft provided substantial improvements in speed, capacity, and fuel economy. However, the fundamental configuration of airplanes, characterized by cylindrical fuselage and conventional wings, remained practically unchanged. In subsequent decades, developments concentrated mainly on gradual improvements, including refined aerodynamics, lighter composite materials, and more efficient engines, without fundamental structural changes. For decades, the sector seemed to have reached a plateau of stability, with innovations being more evolutionary than revolutionary. The arrival of aircraft like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350 brought improvements in fuel economy and passenger comfort thanks to extensive use of composite materials and advanced technologies. Still, these advances did not constitute a fundamental change in aerodynamic design. Recently, growing concern about climate change and the urgency to reduce carbon emissions provided new impetus for innovation. Research is being developed in new aerodynamic concepts and technologies, including electric and hybrid propulsion. Examples include investigation of narrower and elongated wings, V configurations, and fuselage concepts with integrated wings. Although the fundamental design of many commercial aircraft hasn't changed drastically over the decades, the industry now finds itself at an inflection point. Initiatives like Airbus's Zero E project represent a movement toward a new design paradigm with potential to revolutionize commercial aviation. 
the search for more efficient and sustainable aircraft is driving innovation, promising a future where commercial aircraft will present forms and technologies radically different from those we currently know. These developments show that, despite the industry having gone through periods of incremental progress, we are on the threshold of a new era of aerodynamic and technological innovation, motivated by the need for sustainability and energy efficiency. What we previously considered merely an experimental concept without commercial application, executive jet manufacturer Bombardier recently disclosed advances in its most recent private aircraft prototype with integrated structure. Bombardier's integrated body concept combines a fuselage fused with wings, resulting in a more aerodynamic and efficient structure. This design, also called blended wing body, offers multiple advantages in terms of performance and sustainability. The integrated body design substantially reduces aerodynamic drag. Studies indicate that this configuration can decrease fuel consumption by up to 20% compared to conventional aircraft. Drag reduction is achieved through elimination of abrupt transitions between wings and fuselage, creating a more uniform airflow around the aircraft. The integrated body structure enables a more spacious and versatile cabin. Research demonstrates that an integrated body aircraft can transport up to 30% more passengers and cargo without increasing the aircraft's total dimensions. This results in more space to accommodate passengers and cargo, improving operational efficiency for airlines. Combining superior aerodynamics and the ability to carry more payload, the integrated body design offers significantly better fuel efficiency. Preliminary tests and simulations suggest that this approach can reduce CO2 emissions by up to 25%, contributing to aviation's global sustainability goals. The integrated body's internal configuration allows new cabin layout possibilities. The expanded space offers opportunities for rest areas, social spaces, and greater overall passenger comfort. Bombardier is exploring various interior design options to maximize comfort and flight experience. Bombardier is collaborating with various universities and research institutes to develop and test the integrated body concept. Wind tunnel studies, computational fluid dynamics or CFD simulations, and prototype testing are underway to optimize the design and confirm expected benefits. In terms of timeline, Bombardier intends to have a technology demonstrator ready for flight by 2030. This demonstrator will be crucial for validating the theoretical benefits of the integrated body under real flight conditions. The company is also working with regulators to ensure all safety certifications are met, allowing eventual entry into commercial service. The most recent and largest scale prototype developed in this project has a wingspan of approximately 16% of a Bombardier long-range jet and performed a series of successful flights in fall 2023 as part of the second phase of testing. One of the main characteristics that distinguish these test vehicles is the blended wing body design. Similar to a stingray's fins or a flying squirrel's wings, this design features a fuselage that merges with the wings, unlike traditional airplanes where wings are mounted directly above or below the cylindrical fuselage. From an aerodynamic perspective, this innovation makes the fuselage generate more lift, allowing the use of smaller wings which reduces drag. Less drag means lower fuel consumption and consequently lower emissions. Although this design could transform the industry in terms of efficiency, it requires unconventional flight control techniques. Manufacturers need to understand how BWB aircraft function within these parameters, and this is one of the main objectives of data collection with scale BWB prototypes. The project is intentionally designed to develop progressively, with prototypes increasing in scale to perform new tests and collect more robust data. Besides increasing efficiency, the project also seeks to preserve or even improve the customer experience. According to Stephen McCullough, Senior Vice President of Engineering and Product Development at Bombardier, the mission is to maintain the same standard of their already established executive jets, maintaining the same flight standard above commercial traffic, avoiding unfavorable weather conditions, and maintaining the same cruising speed of their jets. 
Furthermore, studies are focused on maintaining operation on the same runways that executive aircraft already use. The evolution of experience will be a differentiator. With a wider fuselage, internal accommodations and the ability to carry more passengers will be a differentiator compared to any other aircraft in the market. Interior design is a crucial part of the EcoJet project. The BWB configuration has inspired Bombardier's award-winning cabin design team, led by Lawrence Casilla, to rethink essential elements such as window placement and the position of the galley or bedroom. According to Casilla, this concept is allowing her team to explore a totally different new space. Naturally, the smooth flight experience, a characteristic for which Bombardier is known, is also fundamental to this project. It seems the future is already near, and regardless of concept acceptance, the industry is more focused on significant reduction of carbon footprint and greater aerodynamic efficiency than on aesthetic aspects. What do you think about this project? Will we start seeing this type of aircraft in the skies in the near future? Will this be the new reality of the aviation industry?